I think the transition, um, it has been really difficult. Um, when I came, I came with a lot of expectations. And some of those expectations were not met immediately. It, it took time to, you know, to adapt for a new language, to the culture, to the change of seasons, to adapt to the new food. I didn't have a family. I was missing my dad, my mom, my brother, my sister, my friends. But with the time, I understood the purpose behind all this. And the purpose was to get closer to God. And knowing that he was in control of everything that was happening in my life. And today, I have I seen all that as a blessing for me. I have grown so much being an immigrant here, bringing good things, and also learning beautiful things. It's very important that the Anglo know the cultural difference that we have, the economic difficulties that we come from, even the spiritual needs there are sometimes are the same, but the way that we express or say or, or live, they're so much different. Um, I think for the Americans, it's very important for them to, you know, give us a chance, to, to give us kind of like a break, like they say. They, they need to know us. We're good people. We're here to make this country a better place for everybody, not only for us. That's the wonderful thing that Christ taught us, you know? It, it doesn't matter if you're from Colombia, or from the United States, or from El Salvador, or from any other country. We are all one in Christ. One of the little things that they can probably start doing is, uh, you know, take a moment to say hello. What is your name? Where are you coming from? Where do you live? Where do you work? If you start being involved in their lives, you start understanding what is going on in their lives. Uh, with the kids, sometimes uh, American kids have everything. Our kids don't have everything, you know? And if they try to have everything, the parents don't have savings uh, or they don't have food. You know, it's, 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 it's another reality. It's like another world in America. And I think one step at a time, you know, you go and say hello, you next time you know that is Miguel, and next time you invite him to the movies, and next time Miguel invites you to his house, and you will see how the family is interacting to each other. And you know, little by little, that way you, we learn about. I think that's the most important thing. In, in the church that I belong, they have the immigration process uh, for papers. You know, if you come in a tourist visa, you can get, you apply this and you do this, and some attorneys help you to do that, and it was free. For me, there was an immigrant with no money that was, wow, free? In my country, that doesn't happen. I need to pay for everything. That means, wow, these people are not from this earth. I need to go there, you know? I, I went to the ESL classes. That's another thing. The ESL classes make us feel that the Anglo community, they're really giving their time to us. They really want us to learn, you know? It's, it's a volunteer thing. They're taking their time to teach us. That's amazing. That show was love for us. That was beautiful. And I think the more connection that we have to each other, the better that we can serve. I would say that an Anglo congregation probably will change because we can put a little uh, spicy thing to their lives. We are always happy. We're always on tone of, you know, uh, get up, let's do this, and 
or even the way we talk, we're very positive or loud or, you know, it's, it's something different for them. And when they see the Latinos put their hands in the, in the air or move a little bit, they start being probably, you know, I can't clap. Also, this is another way of worshiping God. And they feel more free and they start hugging. Uh, that has happened in, in our uh, church the senior pastor, uh, sometimes we see them and, and we start hugging him and now he hugs kind of freely. Before he was like, ooh, where she comes? No, no, no. <laughs> but I think that little changes, you know, make their life a little bit different and enriches their life and that enrich our life too.